Hey peaches! Anyways, first thing we are going to do is take this foundation. It's just a cheap drugstore foundation that I have and uh, my sponge and usually I just squirt it on the back of my hand like so. Sometimes I use concealer, sometimes I don't, but today I'm just using foundation. So take your sponge and get up in there. You want to make sure that you get it all over your face. Um, make sure you get it under your eyes. I guess whenever I don't use a concealer, you know, I just put it under my eyes. Make sure it blends into your neck too because you don't want that line. Uh, that kind of look ridiculous. So just keep blending and um, make sure that you, um, yeah, cover your whole face. I apparently put a lot on. Anyways, so um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this powder to set the foundation. Yeah, I whack the end of it just because of the fact that it gets the powder out. And today I'm actually going to use my powder puff instead of my usual brush just because of the fact that the powder obviously went on the brush when I whacked the container. So you just want to make sure that that powder goes all over your face to set the foundation and to make your face, um, yeah, matte. So there, yep, yeah. uh, it feels matte. <laughs> um, okay, so next thing that we are going to take is our eyebrow eyeshadow. <laughs> this Stanley is the brown eyeshadow and an angle brush that I use for my brows because I don't have the actual like brow powder stuff with a spoolie or anything. So I just use um, a brown eyeshadow with this angle brush and I just fill in my brows just a bit to give them a little bit more definition and to frame my face a little bit more. Just make sure they're all filled in like that. And I just rub it out just to kind of, you know, soften up the brows because sometimes they look a bit too, too dark too bold. Uh, okay, so eyeshadows. Yes, that is my eyeshadow thing that I got a long time ago and I just found it again. I like the colors in it, so I'm going to use that. So the first color I'm going to use is this sort of like whitish sparkly eyeshadow. It's almost like a cream color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush and use it on my entire lid. Just, uh, yeah, use it on my entire lid. Basically, oh, the phone started ringing. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, excuse my frogger voice there. I was kind of sick and I still kind of am, but at least I can talk now. So I'm just going to keep putting that cream eyeshadow, uh, cream colored eyeshadow on my lids just to kind of get myself a base to start out with. And okay, so the next color I'm going to take is, well, if I can get this right, it's this brown guy right here. And I'm going to use that all over my lids as well just to sort of darken up my eyes a tiny bit because this brown is a little bit darker than the other browns that I have in that palette. So I'm just going to keep, uh, oh there we go, yeah. I basically just put on the eyeshadow until I get um, the desired um, darkness or lightness or however, you know, how much uh, opacity I want on it, if that's even considered a word, I don't even know. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take this, I can't do this properly, this dark color here. And this color, I'm not going to put it all over my lid. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye right there and just sort of work it in. Just let it, oh yeah, see, so there's like this big, don't worry about that, we're going to blend it after, but basically what you want to do is you want to get a lot of dark eyeshadow, uh, maybe like a dark brown or a black eyeshadow um, on the outer corner of your eye, and uh, yeah. So, now we are going to go for this brush, um, my mom gave me this brush, pretty awesome brush, I'm just going to blend out the uh, dark eyeshadow on the corners of my eyes to kind of make it a bit softer. And I like this look because I like how it goes from dark to light. It's just kind of something that I'm able to wear to work and it's easy for me to do. So you can some fallout away over there. And um, so yeah, it's just kind of something that I can wear to work and it works perfectly for me. Anyways, so now I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take, well, this white eyeshadow which is used to heck because there's a hole in it. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and this eyeshadow I usually use just for like, you know, highlighting purposes because it's really nice and white and shimmery and it works. Um, yeah, my eye was having a bit of a problem there. I also put some on my cupid's bow of my lip uh, just because it kind of, you know, works there. And then I put some on the bridge of my nose too. There we go. Kind of fail because I can't stay in a straight line on my nose. But that's okay. <laughs> um... 
So now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown eyeshadow again and my angled brush, but I'm going to use this to line my eyes or line my lash line because I don't feel like using liquid eyeliner today because most of the time I suck with liquid eyeliner. And now all I want to do is get it close to the lash line, as close to the lash line as possible. There we go. And it's just kind of subtle. And also if I did want to layer um, liquid black eyeliner over this, it would make the line more soft because of the uh, eyeshadow underneath the black line so it would kind of haze it out a bit but I like it the way it is now so we're all good okay yeah I had all my makeup laid out so yeah now I'm gonna take this thing this is my little crummy eyelash curler it doesn't even look like an eyelash curler but yes this is my dollar store eyelash curler and she can curl my uh, lashes just a little bit here I've been really scared this thing's gonna cut my lashes but it hasn't yet so that's good but um, I curled them at least like maybe twice or three times depending on how curly I want my lashes. Then I'm going to take this uh, CoverGirl Super Thick Mascara and I'm um, just going to coat my lashes with it. So yeah, I know some people like to blink when they put mascara on. I used to be that way, but now it's not really too, too bad, I guess. I was kind of scared at first of mascara but because uh, I poked myself in the eye before, but I'm used to it now. So that's okay. And, um, yeah, so, oh, and also if you want to, this is up to you guys, but you can also, um, do your lower lash line if you want to, just to kind of, you know, give your lashes time to show because they're really little and you just kind of want to, you know, have your lashes going for you, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But yeah, don't be a dumb person like me and poke yourself in the eye because that really is painful unless you're used to it. Okay, so now I am going to take this Prestige White Eyeliner, which I never really used, but I used it for a Christmas tutorial a long time ago. And I'm uh, running it on the back of my hand because it was covered in other uh, eyelash, uh, not eyelash, uh, eyeliner stuff. Anyways, to um, brighten my eyes up a little bit, I'm going to put this on my waterline. Um to kind of just brighten my eyes up a bit. There we go, perfect. And I know I shouldn't be tugging my eye like this, but this is like the only way I know how to get the uh, perfect like eyeliner placing position or whatever you call it. I just, I think it looks really good. And uh, oh, I guess I want to put some more on that eye. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so, oh, and I'm going to use this also to kind of uh, put a little bit in my inner corners just to brighten it up just a bit. And um, it kind of works for me because then I don't have to go and bother getting, like, my highlighting shadow out again and whatever. But, um, yeah, so that works for me. So now we're going to take the uh, eyeshadow and blush palette. I'm going to use this blush in here and my blending brush. God, I'm a barbarian. Oh, man. <laughs> but, um, anyways, so... Basically, I use two blushes. The first one I use is this one. It's like the middle of the three shades I have in there, and it's kind of like a maroon almost blush. And I use that as a contour, sort of. Um, I know people use bronzer and other things for contouring, but I like layering two blushes because it kind of looks cool. So I just put that on um, kind of the hollows of my cheekbones and, uh, you know, just blend it out, obviously, because you don't want it looking too bad. I even rub it sometimes just in case. Then I take this coral blush, this, like, really light coral, and I put that on the apples of my cheeks, just smile really big, and obviously when you push your finger on uh, your cheeks, you can feel the apple of your cheeks because it's, like, the ball of your cheek. So, yeah, and um, if you want to, this is optional, but I use some of that white uh, shimmer eyeshadow, and I just put highlight on my cheeks just because it kind of makes my cheeks shimmer a bit. And, yes, I am... Uh, into glitter sometimes so um, yeah also you can do some contouring this is up to you guys the contouring and the um, highlighting is optional but I just took my brown eyeshadow that I used on my eyelids and uh, just put some on my nose to slim down the shape of my nose a bit just contour it and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with how that looks so let's uh, continue on the lips I'm gonna take this uh, red prestige uh, lip liner and as you guys can see in a sec here it's totally nubbed I know but I'm just gonna like very very gently and softly line my lips this really hurts but oh well and uh, I'm just gonna line them and fill them in slightly you know I don't really see the red going on my lips that's awesome but uh, yeah basically you just kind of want to go for it um, if you don't really like a bold red lip then you guys can like blot it 
which I knew later. But anyways, I'm gonna use this dollar store, very red uh, dollar store again lipstick, and I'm just gonna blot that on my lips. So that all my lips too too red. But actually, you know what? Well, let's let, let's see what it looks like if I were to actually. Oh man, wow, that's red. Oh well, let's just continue with it. See what happens. Oh jeez, holy crow, that's really really red. Okay, you know what? I think that I'm going to blot that. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna run it over my lips just to blot the lipstick because that's like way too red for my taste. And I'm not really a red lipstick wearer, like a more muted red wearer. So um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Just kind of wipe it off a tiny bit. And there we go. That's it, you guys. That's my finished uh, casual look. I usually just wear my hair down. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to do a close up on my eyes now just because I can. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to uh, rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. Please subscribe if you like what you see because I really enjoy making videos for you guys. I'm a creep. And uh, so yeah, anyways, that's about it, you guys. Bye. Peace. I love you all. Live, laugh, love. Have a good day or night depending when you watch this video. Bye, guys.